want to start by uh, wrapping up camp, let me know uh, what are you happy with what you accomplished. Well, I think we got a lot of things done. Um, we were fortunate to um, stay healthy for the most part. Um, we didn't practice as much as we would like to, but um, positive with that is it allowed us to spend more time in the weight room. So I think that, that our team's really strong. A lot of time in the meeting room. I think our team's um, mentally prepared. And so you know now we've got to go to the next test, which is playing on game day. Discipline was a big uh, buzzword in spring. Uh, you enforced it on a couple guys here in the fall. Do you feel like your message is being sent? Well, I hope so. Um, we don't want to have to do that. Our goal is not to try to find people to send messages through. And we'd like not to have to do that, but every once in a while it happens, and we need to make sure, especially in our first year, that people understand, our players understand right away. Um, they're to be held to a high standard. It's a privilege to play here at USC, and they, they need to understand that. And um, I, I think our guys do now. After the first week, you eliminated tackling. Are you worried that that's going to affect you more in terms of poor tackling defensively or ball security offensively? Uh, both. Um, those are our two biggest concerns going into this game. Uh, will be how well are we going to tackle and holding on to the ball, having not taken big hits with our ball carriers. Your freshman and trio of receivers got a, uh, a lot of buzz during camp. Do you feel like their development is the key to making this offense explosive? No, no, that's just one part of it. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to go into this, obviously starting with the quarterback and then going through everybody else. So um, we look for a number of freshmen to have significant roles, and especially on offense. You talked about how the depth chart was fluid. The guys can, you know, they got a fresh start with you. Mark Tyler obviously took advantage of that. How, how do you feel? Yeah, I think that's a good example of that. You know, we talked about day one coming into our players about it doesn't matter what you've done before since you've been here, where you're from, how many stars you are in recruiting. We're going to play the best players. And, um, you know, Mark has been the most consistent of all the guys. And so as of right now, he'll start. And if someone becomes more consistent and playing better, then they'll start. Everyone loves to talk about the skill guys, but, you know, the O line is obviously the key to it. You had a lot of uh, transition at guard, you know, rough sending guys in and out with injuries. Is there enough chemistry in that line coming out of camp? Is that a concern for you? Yeah, it's a big concern. Um, and hopefully through the first couple of games, they, they get that. A number of them have played a lot, um, even though they played in different positions and moved around. Um, but to play together in our system, this will be the first time. And a lot of those guys have been banged up and, and not been hurt and been limited. So um, it's going to be a big test for those guys to play extremely fast together. Is your defensive line your most dominant position group, you feel like, right now? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, They have had a great camp, um, very strong, even with um, Nick Perry being out. Um, I think that you know they they will be the key to our defense up front and staying healthy and playing extremely physical and stopping the run after this week. You know because these guys don't really throw don't really run the ball, but after this, you know that'll be a big key. Devon Kennard won the middle backer job. Were you surprised at how quickly he picked up that position, leadership position? Well, I was not because from the first day we got here, um, he has had a very professional approach to football, and he's always up there trying to learn more, always studying, um, watching more film, and so. Um, that made it an easy transition, even though he was a defensive end and then an outside linebacker. This is the first time as a middle linebacker. Um, Chris Gallipo had a great camp. He's our backup at all three spots, and we'll play on all four core special teams. So it wasn't an easy decision. Hey, Kel Roby is a special athlete, but still an undersized guy. You, you like him so much that you're going to play him on the outside. Has he shown you enough against the taller receivers like Prater, like Osborne in practice, to make you feel like he's got no problem going up against big receivers? Yeah, he has. Um, I think he's going to do a great job. You know, as you look at, sometimes you can you can look at height and make such a big deal of an inch or two. But when the guy has a 40-inch vertical, he can cover up for that. And so um, I think he's going to be a real special player for us and be playing for us for a long time. Special teams has not really been an em emphasis around here the last couple of years. Do you feel like that unit you spent so much time on it, you almost expect it to swing a couple games in your favor this year? It better. <laughs> We've spent enough time on it, so. Um, you know, from the first day we got here, our approach has been that we've got to play great on special teams. Um, as everybody knows, our numbers are down. Um, they're going to be down, you know, through this probation. And so we're not going to be able to just line up and, and, and be three deep at every position, offense and defense, and be better than everybody. We're going to have to do a great job in special teams um, in order to continue to operate at a championship level. So um, I hope that this pays off for us this season. As you head to Hawaii, what are the logistical problems that playing at the island a lot of distractions, um, long flight, um, going out there, um, foreign atmosphere, uh, very tough physical team that we play, um, uh, loud crowd. And so we're going to have our hands full, and we have got to limit distractions. We're not going on vacation. We're, we're going for business. You talked about trimming the rotations at the skill positions, particularly running back. Do you anticipate, though, looking at a few more guys if possible in this Hawaii game so that you can get to know them? 
Well, we are going to play a number of guys um, in general because of the heat, especially on defense. We'll rotate guys through there, especially up front. Um, but as far as just rotating guys to rotate them, we're not going to do that. Um, you know, we got to figure out our team. We don't know very much. We've never played together. So we've got to figure out our guys and, and, you know, hopefully get some guys in down the road as we continue to play more games. Hawaii's been under the radar a little bit since that big undefeated season they had. Gene Jones left. Still, though, the same MO, that spread option, attack, spread offense attack that's going to cause you problems? Yeah, nothing's changed. They're still going to spread you out, give you a bunch of problems. The receivers catch a ton of balls. They do a great job. They've done it for a long time. And even though statistically they're not quite like they were when June was there, they're still a great passing offense. I think they were third in the country last year. Defensively, what do they do that's different? Yeah, they can confuse you a lot of multiple fronts, and multiple blitzes. They stand guys up, move them all around. And so um, they, they're a risky defense. And you know we're going to have to make the big plays when they're there. Have you talked to the guys about the nerves of the first game, battling the crowd, battling adversity, or do you like to have your experienced guys on the team sort of just relay their history? No, we, we talk to them all the time about things in specific games and which game that we're going into. So we're trying to limit the distractions here, keep our guys focused, and make sure that they they understand that this is about a game. It's not about where it is. It's not about who they're playing against. They've got to go back to basics. Your special teams coach John Baxter has spent plenty of time uh, against Hawaii in a number of years. Have you leaned on him for any advice uh, over what to expect? Yeah, um, we have. Um, we're fortunate to have him, and then we, you know, we've played them as well when we were here before and went over there. So um, I think I think we have a really good plan, and I think our players are focused. Um, they, they've been through a lot this off season, so they're ready to get playing. I don't think they'll be distracted. Lastly, lost in all of this, uh, this is your first game. It's your dream job, head coach of USC. What are your emotions like going? Through? I haven't had much time to think about it. Um, you, it feels like we've been here a long time, so um, we're just excited to get out there and finally play um, after this off season and everything happening um, with the sanctions. That you know, it's time to just go out and play, which is what we're here to do. Thanks, guys.